Hey folks, I'm Daryl Cagle, and uh, today I'm doing another live drawing of an editorial cartoon. Um, today's cartoon is about uh, the health care bill, the big vote that's going on in uh, Congress today. Well, we'll see uh, how that turns out, but I'm guessing it's not going to turn out too well. So, um, I've done a couple of drawings in the past of uh, digestive cartoons. This uh, donkey digesting the health bill and pooping it out is one that I did back in, uh, goodness, Facebook jumping in. One that I did back in um, 2009, I think, when um, Obamacare was being debated in Congress. and. I always liked it. It was one of my favorite old cartoons. And so I'm going to redo this one with a Republican elephant eating either Obamacare or repeal and replace. Maybe he should be eating repeal and replace. It's more appropriate for an elephant, don't you think? I also liked this Putin where he's uh, munching on these former Soviet states in order to poop them out as a new uh, Soviet Union. Um, I liked that. Of course, these cartoons are not going to be reprinted as much as I would like because, um, you know, it has poop. And um, what can I say? Editors don't like the poop. Let's see if our chat is working. Looks like chat is working. So I hope you guys will uh, chat, throw me some uh, comments and questions. You may hear my son playing his electric guitar in the background. That's all good. He does that. All right. So what I did was I printed out uh, old um, the old uh, donkey cartoon just to give me a little thought of where his intestines go. Um, and I'm going to work on making him into an elephant here. And then I may, I'm not quite sure, depending on how events go today, I may also do uh, Trump in this position, uh, digesting, repeal and replace, and pooping out nothing. I'm not sure about what uh, label I'm going to put on the poop this time. It may just be fine if it's poop, but there's no real health bill if they vote it down. So repeal and replace digests and just ends up as poop that's not labeled, I think may be more appropriate. So off we go, folks. Chat with me. I appreciate it. Um, I'm starting off with a, um, as I said, with a, a light um, print of the old cartoon, the old uh, Democrat donkey cartoon because I wanted to get a sense of where the what I had done before with the intestines because I kind of liked his intestines I think the labeling on the contest the intestines is probably still fairly appropriate of course the the elephant has a different body shape and a bigger belly but probably the same body shape as I would have for Trump. So I may decide during the course of this, in the course of the events during the day, to uh, go ahead and um, make this a Trump figure as well as a Republican figure and have two, uh, as the elephant figure and have two um, versions of this cartoon. This is a little smaller than I usually draw because it's just, it's vertical and it was just I thought it was comfortable to print out the old cartoon and kind of think of uh, updating that rather than start from scratch. When I uh, drew this first one, I did put some thought into what where the actual intestines go. Of course, uh, I had to make some compromises because our entire bellies are not filled with intestines. Mm. 
Well, seeing as he's an elephant, I guess his arm needs to be a little bit bigger, wider. So we can go with that. Takes a little bit of rethinking. You know, elephant's human anatomy is a bit different than the human anatomy of donkeys. So elephants are th thicker. Move his shoulder back a little bit. Give him some underarm hair. That's kind of funny. A little bit of back hair is funny too. Belly obscures the groin. Remember that. It's the general rule of uh, cartooning. Belly obscures the groin. One of those important rules they don't teach you in art school. So if you haven't followed me on Twitch, I do appreciate the follows. Um, when you follow me on Twitch, you get a email prompt when I come on to stream, which is uh, nice because I'm pretty unpredictable. Hard to find me streaming. I don't keep a good regular schedule. Sorry about that, folks. I do too much running of stupid business to uh, know what I'm going to be doing day to day. Stuff comes up. Maybe he's not so happy about this uh, repeal and replace. Is this repeal and replace or is it health plan? Right now it's either Ryan Care, Trump Care, or health plan. Hey, Hellward, nice to see ya. I like seeing the familiar faces. You do very well to catch me so often, Hellward. All right, should this be repeal and replace or should it be health plan I think it needs to be repeal and replace and repeal and replace you can still have a nice big American flag on it Cartoon Man, nice to see you here. Hey, good to good to see the old guys coming back. All right, expression on the elephant. I think he's not happy. Uh, he's got some um, intestinal issues going on, I think, that are making him not happy. So let's change that. Uh... him uh, less cheery mouth here. I'm going to come in and see if I can fix some of this. a little little better not as big a wide open inviting mouth but 
maybe a little bit more appropriate to their mood, you think? Move his shoulder back a little bit. Move more funny elbow. Put the arm hair back here. How does that look better? Not sure I like those eyes. They have a little more of a butt. I could lift the head up and make the mouth wider. I, I think to make the wife mouth wider I have to lift. Hey, Halward. Yeah, they don't know what they want. Easy to vote on things when there's no chance of it happening. I did another cartoon of the Capitol building as a big toilet with the uh, elephant pooping in it, and I would r repost that every so often when they had another vote to repeal and replace Obamacare. I think they had about 50 and I'd bring him back pooping at the into the cast the, the capital each time and I thought about reworking that cartoon for this situation giving him a big bottle of laxative white house laxative to help him uh, poop into the capital another uh, health care digestion joke I know, all you young folks on Twitch think that old codgers like me are obsessed with our digestion. Put a bunch of old people in a room, they start talking about their health problems and their digestion. I think I need a little more space for this label. Yeah, this mouth is better. I had to move the whole head up to make that work. Repeal. Using lowercase letters somehow has a little bit less uh, gravitas. Yes, Hellwork, there is there is poop today. Repeal and replace. All right. conversation with a podcasting guy who was talking about making these videos I do into a podcast which I've been toying with for a while but haven't really done and uh, he was emphasizing how important it is to tell stories because people want to hear you tell stories he says you got lots of stories don't you well here I would be telling stories about digestion and poop I think he didn't really think through what kinds of stories this would lead to okay well let's widen his arm up just a little bit more he is an elephant after all he's got some thick elephant fingers there haven't put a lot of thought into elephant fingers All right, what are his eye expressions here? I'm not entirely sure.
when I look to the left, I'm looking at the, the screen that shows my video feed, and I get kind of a, a perspective on my drawing that I used to do from stepping back from it, which is nice. In case you wonder why I'm looking to the left. Big eyes are funny. Okay, he doesn't quite know what he's eating. A little more quizzical. Tuft of hair. A little better ear. Not a good time to be drawing a cartoon since it's 2 o'clock on the East Coast. They're going to close their Sunday editions in a couple of hours. And I'm not going to be done with this in two hours. So probably the worst time of the week. Oh, he's been taking bites. Good point, Elward. Got to show that he's been taking bites. All right, here is his poop. I need to reposition it a little bit. It's not looking too good. Put it down. A little more here. All right, the intestines. What do we do with that? Yes, Elward. Poop is funny. Okay, let's see. I also have these other uh, labels in the previous drawing. In case you're joining me late. This is the drawing, the old one that I'm uh, I'm basing this on from uh, when Obamacare was going through uh, the legislative process, and I thought it was an appropriate one to update with an elephant, given today's news. So that's why I am where I am. I am where I am. Okay, search companies go into HMOs, go into small business and. AARP, and uh, I can add angry town halls. And uh, Medicaid. This one would be companies, insurance companies, HMOs. Angry Town Halls Tea Party 
the Republicans. Big Pharma is kind of funny in his large intestine. At least that strikes me as a little funny. Okay, he can have small business in his small intestine. How about CBO score? Is that too crazy? Lobbyists, B P Y I S T I S T S, lobbyists. How about the A A R P? Go up here and to. instead of deficits. Big Pharma needs to come over here, doesn't it? It's hard to de design intestines. Alright. How's that look? That way, that way. That one goes that way, and then that way, and that one goes that way. Costs. Angry town halls, Tea Party Republicans, Medicaid lobbyists, small business HMOs, insurance companies, big pharma goes over here. Yes, designing intestines takes guts. Okay, big pharma. Big R M A Big Pharma. Now he needs a little bit of of uh, abdominal cavity shading because this is a see-through view, you know. Intestines do not exist in a vacuum. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Shading versus deltoid. A little bit of scapula. You know how they make you learn all the names of the bones in art school anatomy class? And there are actually just a few bones that you really need to know the names of. One hell of a blockage. Oh, yes. No, he's um he's got a poop. He's not blocked. He's coming out with the poop. This one is mayonnaise. Okay. I think this needs to come down a little bit. You know, I think uh Drawings like this really take quite a bit of thought and planning, like I'm doing now. Lots of revisions and thinking about stuff. And I know people think that these things just jump right out of your head, especially when I'm revamping an old cartoon. But it really is 
They change it from a donkey to an elephant. It's an entirely different cartoon. Requires uh, some different thought to how it's drawn. Big pharma laxatives. Okay. Does that look right? Am I good here? I do have bites out of the burger. A little bit of lettuce. Am I happy with this? Okay. I think I'm good there. Let's let's go with this. The eyes are still wrong, aren't they? Let's go back to the eyes. Okay, so if his forehead comes down like this, I can have angrier eyes. These Republicans are kind of angry, aren't they? I like those eyes? I'm not sure. Let me think for a second. He's not quite looking at the burger, is he? His eyes are off the burger. those eyes either. Yeah, eyes are important. When I did this donkey, I didn't uh, put that much thought into the eyes. I just did a couple round Muppet ping pong ball eyes. And uh, I don't know, maybe that's what this elephant deserves. Muppet ping pong ball eyes. Angry eyes make him look like he's trying to choke it down, huh, Elwood? All right, let's say round eyes are less threatening and he could look confused. Maybe that's better because he's having some digestive distress, you know. You know, when you don't know what to do, you can always go back to the Muppet ping pong ball eyes. That makes it much more cartoony, doesn't it? Giant Muppet eyes. Do I want that? A little bit smaller. It's a little bit of distress going on here. You like that better, huh, Hillward? Like these eyes better? All right, I'll go with this. Okay, so you guys agree you like these eyes better. All right, good, good. Sorry, bump my camera there. Okay. I get it. All right. Um, um, I, we'd be cool.
Alrighty, here he is, ready to roll. I think I'm going to chop up this left side so I don't need this. here. In case you're wondering, over here on the right I have uh, sandpaper to help me get a good chisel point. And uh, hey, if any of you have not uh, followed, I do appreciate the follows. Thank you for joining me today. This is a Republican health care bill cartoon. He's jumping on the repeal and replace burger and turns into the poop. Oh, I need to have an arrow. Don't I? From his colon to his poop. We'll move that fly over here. Forgot the arrow. Oh, I can't do that. So now I'm just uh, drawing Got all for the years. This is not exactly tracing because the sketch that I do underneath is uh, just a guide figuring things out. It's not anything like finished art. should have all kinds of fleshy details, don't you think? They are very fleshy. Folks, don't hesitate to chat.
I'm happy to chat. to follow. If you'd like to support Kegel.com, we very much appreciate your support. At Kegel.com slash heroes, we're doing a crowdfunding. Try to keep uh, our expensive Kegel.com site up. It is uh it's largely expensive because of the well the complexity of it and the the defenses against the hacker attacks. So appreciate your comments. Please do comment. Looks like his thumb, doesn't it? Thumb on top. Should I rethink the hand? Give him thumb on top? I didn't do that. I did four fingers. Presuming the thumb is obscured. I draw that I'm not sure about that bite out of the burger either because it's falling in a bad spot. It's just that one finger that looks like a thumb. Oh, that's that's secret sauce dripping out of the burger, Hellward. All right, let's let's fix this thumb-like finger. Make it a little more finger-like, and then that'll make a little more sense there. that kind of works. Not my favorite hand, but it kind of works. that's okay. I feel like I'm compromising and there should be no compromise on this healthcare bill cartoon.
Okay. We thought that guy, uh, Hellward thought that guy investigating Trump blew them all out. That guy, Comey, the head of the FBI. Arun in Mamdar. Nice to see you here, Arun. You need to follow. I need to follow. <coughs> he needs a little bit of cheekbone, doesn't he? Cheekbone right here. And some more interesting teeth than I've given him. Oh, right. You're talking about uh, Devin Nunez, the head of the House Committee investigating this, Hellward. Yeah, he was looking bad, running to running to the sort the the target of the investigation to give him the news before the rest of the folks on his committee. That doesn't sound like much of a real investigation. And I think it kind of tells the FBI, don't really want to be telling things to this committee. Yes, bad investigation. Bad. Bad. Okay. Should he have some upper teeth? I could give him some upper teeth. Since he is eating... Maybe it makes sense to have some uppers and lowers. I usually either draw uppers or lowers, and I don't do both. Perhaps both are appropriate this time, since he's taken a bite. <sighs> well, I think you are right, Hellward. <laughs> One thing that's kind of fun is when you do a cartoon that's f full of a big character, you get to do all these nutty little details like I'm doing now to, to sculpt him. I've seen some other artists do some trumps that have a lot of detail and the texture and the sculpting and kind of makes me want to do one too. But I don't have a good idea for that for a gag. Trouble with editorial cartoons versus illustrations, you can do a lovely drawing but all people care about is uh, the message of the drawing. We're basically writers more than we are artists and uh, Good gag trumps a beautiful drawing every time. So I need a, a reason to draw crazy sculpted complexion trump. Something more than all of the international cartoonists do just drawing Nazi and Ku Klux Klan monsters. Too many of those. Mad Games Live. Nice to see you here. You've been here before.
hey folks I do appreciate the comments and I would like for you to uh, follow me I need the follows tell your friends I have never generated enough buzz on twitch I'm thinking of uh, changing the way that I do this and doing the the live drawings on Facebook where I have uh, more of a following but you know the twitch interface is very nice I love how these comments work here uh, a run each card in tuna says way going about it mine is unique ah I guess that's good thank you a run people are always telling me that my work looks like somebody else Hey, where are you from, Iran? Iran in Namdar sounds a bit exotic. I'm guessing you're from a exotic place. Oh, Mad Game says everybody else plays music while they draw. Yeah, and you know, I'm not really a music kind of guy. If I was doing this without streaming, I would have uh, the Talking Heads, CNN, MSNBC, and Fox. They would be on all the time. Not music. But I understand why they want to do the music, because uh, silence is uh, unpleasant. And I've tried to make up that with that by talking all the time. So if you want to have another window open with somebody else just playing music, you can do that. Listen to your own crap. Turn the sound off. Whatever. I am not music dependent here. I'm trying to uh, train myself into talking all the time and being a bit more cogent than I tend to be. I've been toying with making this into a podcast for quite a while, and it's just uh, every solution I look at uh, for editing this down, speeding up the drawing, it involves a lot of work. And I don't really expect a podcast to make any money and pay for somebody to do the work, so I have not done it. One does not stream or uh, podcast, I think, except in rare circumstances to try to make a profit out of it. So I can't just assume costs and hire somebody to edit a podcast for me and have that make any fiscal sense. So nothing has happened on the podcast front. Yeah, I'm afraid that my podcast would take a very large amount of editing. My son gave a shot at doing a few. But the uh, problem with him is that it takes some time and he would come out with things for cartoons when the cartoons were a little late and stale and it was taking him too much time. might still come up with some kind of solution. Not quite sure.
sure what it would be. Well, hey, I do appreciate the comments, and uh, all of you folks that are watching, you should follow, and you should comment. That's an onion. Let's give it some burger over here. So, Mad Games Ryan Live writes, laugh out loud. So, what did you think of Trump's comments? If they didn't pass repeal bill, he would just leave ACA as it is. Personally, I don't mind leaving ACA as it is. I know that a lot of states are having trouble with it, but that is not true here in California where I live, where the ACA is working really very well. We don't have those problems the other states do. Also, the Republicans put so much stock into the fact that health care costs are rising with Obamacare and what how terrible that is. But you know health care costs are going to be rising anyway just because health is priceless and we're willing to pay anything for it. And when you have all these new solutions that co are costly coming out to... Uh, priceless health care problems you gotta do it because it's priceless mad games ro live rights most of the states with problems are the ones that block bits of it that is true I uh, lived recently in Tennessee which is one of those states where Part of the state has no insurers willing to work with them. And Tennessee had a long and bitter debate about rejecting the, the essentially free money that came from the Medicaid expansion. So not only do they have their poor that are suffering from not having the same coverage as the poor in other states like California, for their uh, their conservative orthodoxy, they are suffering on the not getting insurance companies to go to their front. So it is a problem of their own making. I think you're quite right. Mad Games Live. try really hard to break it to prove it's broken and then when it, they break it they suffer <laughs> and now they're not going to be able to do anything else a little bit of justice in that you know down a little bit. Maybe I'll do that. We'll give it a minute. See how that percolates out. How do I feel about single payer health being so popular yet somehow never even gets close to passing? Um, well, I'm 
I guess I'm extra liberal in that regard, but I like single payer because um, you got that problem of health being priceless, and whenever you have something that's priceless, supply and demand doesn't work, and that's what the Republicans refuse to acknowledge. All right, Mad Games, you count me among the 66%. Here's another drawing rule for you. Draw the lettering inside of areas that enclose lettering first before you finish off the enclosure. It works for speech balloons as well. right I'm really quiet right now quiet should I turn up the volume is that better volumes louder no you like the louder volume sometimes I get some distortion when the volume is turned up tell me if that's better everybody chime in is the sound better now better now huh okay nobody else have a comment on my sound level I may come in and tweak these intestines thank you Halward because uh, I'd like to center all of the the labels have them centered on the correct bits of intestine This is the large intestine that holds the big pharma. I regret that not very many editors, I think, are going to print this cartoon. First, because the majority of editors that subscribe to Kegel cartoons are conservative, and they only consider a very small percentage of the cartoons which we've been doing our best to promote so that they don't leave in droves and so there's so many more liberal cartoons than conservative cartoons we've been getting flooded with complaints from conservative editors I could give him a funny little intest a uh, funny little uh, appendix I hadn't really thought about that one of those few opportunities a cartoonist has to draw an appendix. I am going to move the legs down. better. Okay. Now the next thing I need to know is what the news is today so that I uh, can decide whether I should do a Trump version in addition to this elephant. Take a quick look. I'm going to leave a breaking news window over open here. Nunez backs down from explosive claim that Trump was monitored. Healthcare bill hangs in the balance as Trump's deadline looms. 
Mad Games writes, what do I think about the Nunez leaks? Um, I think it was pretty outrageous for him to go brief Trump before he briefed his committee. It should, they're, they're investigating Trump, and Trump is the first one to hear anything they've got. That sounds a little crazy. All right, let's put this stomach here. This is the stomach, right? This one. commas on plural acronyms. I'm actually not sure if that's the proper thing to do. But I've never had a editor complain about that. They're very vocal about complaining about other things. Mad Games thinks Nunez is being set up as another fall guy to protect Trump from scrutiny. Uh, I don't think that they've planned to set him up as a fall guy. He's just struggling with being in the wrong place at the wrong time. He doesn't have uh, what should I say? He's got some unpleasantness to deal with and it isn't clear how to do that. How to deal with his unpleasantness in a way that is uh, going to make his, his posse happy. Manafort's involvement seems like a very clear link to Putin writes mad games, especially given how he was paid to set up another pro-Trump leader before he worked with Trump. You know, I gave a speech speaking tour in Ukraine where uh, Manafort has been indicted and is wanted for trial for his uh, dealings with their crooked ex-president, Yanukovych. And um, they have a national park there, which is... Yanukovych's outrageous mansion. And it is a fascinating place to go. Just crazy opulence. You should look it up on the web. Yeah, I, I get it, Mad Games Pro Putin. And of course, Yanukovych was a crook who raped the country of Ukraine and is living in exile in Russia under the protection of Putin, who was his uh, puppet master. Insurance companies. So mad games. Did you went to? Did you go uh, on a tour of the mansion? An extensive tour. Yeah, it's it's um. It's just absolutely crazy, isn't it?
Oh, you watch it online. Well, actually, it's not it's not like it's a a giant mansion. It it is pretty giant, but it's a log cabin, and he's got a separate um, zoo and you know these crazy grounds and all these other buildings. His uh, you can walk on top of the the gym building to see his. Uh, his boxing ring, which is kind of funny. Look down through the window on the ground. L O B B Y I S T S Lobbyists. Well, I thought Ukraine was very interesting. They have some excellent cartoonists there. Vladimir Zlotkovsky, he's very good. Actually, it could be a bloaty part, more like... Uh, Medicaid expansion is a gassy part in the intestines. It's kind of funny, but I'm not quite sure how to draw it. I have to fit it in. The Koch brothers are promising to spend a lot of money defending the seats of uh, Republicans who um, will oppose the Trump care bill, which is interesting. I thought about labeling one of his intestines with uh, Koch brothers, but then it occurred to me that that is uh, something that hasn't quite happened yet, and um, this, I think, actually could be seen as uh, a cartoon some Tea Party editors might want to run, because they were not happy with the repeal and replace. And they might actually not disagree with this cartoon. Angry Town. Halls. seen a mansion for Erdogan, president of Turkey. Perhaps he has quite the mansion. He likes to throw cartoonists in jail and sue cartoonists. Something about despots, they don't have a sense of humor when it comes to cartoons. No followers today. No new followers. On the other drawing that I did, I put arrows indicating the way you need to go through the intestine. I didn't do that this time. See costs can go up that way. We can have doctors.
else do we have? I can have the Congressional Budget Office, CBO. So not a lot of room there. That doesn't read, does it? C, B, O. Should I have that? Maybe not. Hard to read and it doesn't make much sense. Doctors. I could put AAP on here, pretty small. A. A R P. That's going to make more sense to people. Then I'll move A A R P from the other spot. Doesn't fit there. I would like to see the president's house in Turkey. Although that president in Turkey is really a bad guy. You don't throw journalists in jail, put newspapers out of business when they disagree with you. Party Republicans. Okay, T. Party. Checking out your link. Oh, that's Erdogan's house. That is, uh, it looks like a college building, doesn't it? In Ankara. I opened your link, it looked fine. This first one I did, I had the path going from his mouth into his belly, and I'm not really having room for that on this design just because of the fact that elephants are designed differently than donkeys. This is my oh, here I'm watching, uh, watching the news while I draw. This is uh, my original one that I'm doing a takeoff of making the donkey into a elephant and a uh, little bit different anatomy which makes me lose this nice uh, esophageal 
path and the arrows, I think, in order to make this work with the, the elephant. So a little bit of a struggle, because I liked that esophagus. See, I have room for another little thing in here, which would be Medicaid lobbyist small business. his other arm. So I've got a spot here. What do I do with it? Just filling it with a little bit of intestine. I don't really have a label to put there. Okay, I'm going to move this down a little bit, give him a little bit longer legs. So there's the original sketch. That's where he was. And we're going to put the legs down there. spitting out some lemon seeds. Okay. Is that where his feet should be? Is that as skinny as his elephant human legs should be? Hmm. 
Mm, okay. Not gonna label the poop this time. I think I'm going to wait to draw Trump in this position because uh, if they do cancel the vote today and Trump moves on to uh, other things like his tax cut stuff like he says he's going to do, then uh, this cartoon isn't really going to work, but it'll still work as the, the elephant. So if you folks want to keep me talking, got to give me a little bit of chat here.
So what do you folks think? You think I should play music and not talk so much? I suppose I could both play music and talk so much. Pretty soon I'm going to be finished with this, and then I'm going. I've been drawing on it for an hour and a half, which is. Uh, people are always telling me that it takes longer for me to do my drawings than they expected, but uh, I feel like I draw pretty fast. It is what it is. Not sure I'm happy with the poop. Take another look at the poop. Hmm. Mad Games Live, you're getting pretty esoteric here. All right, is that better poop? Might be. It should be falling between his legs, so it needs to come up a little bit. All right. Some wafteroon. Tell you, mad games. Kids don't read like they used to. The days of sitting reading books are in the rearview mirror, I think. All right. Do we like this poop? This is not my favorite drawing. I think it's a little bit too naive with the giant eyes and But that said, I did it now and now is when it needs to go out. So you do as much as you can do. Sometimes they're not all my favorites. Well, keep fighting the good fight, Mad Games. Sounds good to me. 
think it's only going to get tougher to get kids to read books. Okay, I might move the strip down a little bit when Photoshop when I redo this. Oh, I think. I'm not sure I want that other thumb there. Do you want the other thumb here? If I do, it needs to look different, doesn't it? So that looks like it's coming out of this hand, which it could. I wasn't entirely happy with this hand. A bunch of compromises on this drawing. All right, that's a thumb coming out of this hand. What do we think of that? There's two thumbs on it. <laughs> Terrible. So is that thumb. Well, Mad Games, I think you're right, but I think that's a losing battle. All right, there's the other hand. Yeah, it looks wrong, doesn't it? Because you can't tell which thumb the thumb is coming from, and it's in a spot where you want to see the thumb with the hand in front. So what do I do about that? Mm. I may just have to ignore this other hand and put more burger there. Not much choice, I think. Okay. Oh, I need to sign it. The donkey drawing was better. If I sign it here, it interferes with uh, gag. thousand words just have them read the cliff notes it's the best you can do that's what I did in school anyway I think I had five classes that assigned us to read the great Gatsby a couple Moby Dicks they're repetitive there aren't enough classics to uh, fit the old school model. Okay. There we go. This is going to be it. All right, folks. I'm going to take five, and I'll be out for a little bit scanning this puppy, getting set up to uh, color it in Photoshop, and then I will come back with another video. So that concludes today's uh, video presentation and I hope that you will take a look at DarylKagel.com to see my past cartoons and past videos and there you will uh, be able to uh, watch me draw in real time to your heart's content. Watch me at 1.5 speed on YouTube and I'm 1.5 times as interesting. And uh, hey, Zengri German. Uh, 
Yeah, I draw with pencils. Thanks for joining me, Zangry German. Give me a follow because then you get an email when I come back online to color this cartoon, which should be uh, not very long from now. So, uh, hey, that is the end of today's video. If you like our cartoons on Kegel.com, please support us at Kegel.com slash heroes. We really appreciate your support and uh, see you in the next video and all the past videos on DarylKegel.com. And thank you so much. I will uh, see you guys later. End of video. Thanks, folks.